This morning, Christmas is just around the corner, and if your kids are getting a new tablet or smartphone this year, you'll need to decide how you're going to keep them safe on that new device. Our Ryan Dean has tips from two tech experts. More than 50% of kids get a smartphone by the time they're 11 years old. We've all heard the dangers, too much screen time, too much social media, and a potential to be exposed to inappropriate images and content. As we all know, tech devices are addictive. Burton Kelso and Mark Today, Watson are tech experts. This is going to be my review of the iPhone 13 Pro. As who offer of reviews and advice on blogs and YouTube. They say the best place to start before handing over a phone or tablet to your kids is in the settings. You can monitor set restrictions and add screen time limits. You have the ability to go into the settings and go into screen time. Now this basically will show you how much time that your kid is spending in particular apps. And now at this point, you can set up a passcode on the phone. And after you do that, you'll be able to restrict how much time they can spend in those particular apps. And then it's also something really cool called downtime. You can actually set it up on the phone to say, all right, at 7 p.m., they can only have access to certain apps, like certain educational apps or certain reading apps and block all the social media apps if you want. There's also parental control software you can install on your child's device. Uh, probably the, the top three in the industry would be the Norton Family Control. Uh, same thing with the Kaspersky Parental Control Suite that allows you to monitor any device. And then NetNanny is an awesome app. Watson recommends Bark Parental Control app. It can monitor the text messages, the emails, and even the videos and photos that are on your kid's device. And it can be looking out for sexual content or even bullying in text messages and things like that. Kelso says there's no perfect app. The best parenting is talking through expectations with your child. And for parents, don't rely on your kids to set up parental controls because you know they're not going to set them up correctly. Now, most parental apps mentioned do have a monthly or a yearly fee, but Ali, when you yeah. think about it in today's world, it might be worth the price.